welcome back to the ranch. Dr. Uptown here. <clears throat> We're here today to uh, complete a project that we started on one of our other videos with the Kiapa. Uh, if you remember correctly, I told you I'd ordered uh, some, not only a foregrip for the Kiapa from AB Arms, uh, but some rails, and a couple of those rails didn't show up. Uh, Jason was real quick to get right back on it and uh, get those rails uh, in the mail to me and uh, showed up just a couple days after the fact. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, finish up what we started the other day. We've got the uh, DPMS out and we've got our uh, additional two rails that Jason had sent us in the mail. We're going to go ahead and install those on the uh, upper portion of the foregrip and uh, show you what we had planned on doing with that. And like I say, since we're just dealing with the upper portion uh, today, we'll just uh, remove that and leave the the bottom in place. Go ahead and pull you in here a little closer. You can kind of watch what we're doing. <clears throat> First thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, remove this uh, aluminum heat shield out. And where I'm going to do is put these uh, two rails on either side. And what that'll allow me to do is, uh, particularly my flashlight, if I uh, ever decide to go ahead and put a laser on, I can uh, drop that laser on the other side. Well, like I say, uh, you can order these rails individually. They're like six bucks a piece, or uh, you can order them as uh, sets. These particular ones are the uh, four slot rails. They also come in a 5 and a 7 slot and you can get a package of uh, of all three of the different sizes if you want to do it that way. <clears throat> so once again uh, AB Arms has been nice enough to uh, install the blind nuts in it for us to make life easy. So what we'll do is go ahead and uh, set up with our star washers and our support washers. We'll uh, try to get in here so that you can see this well. Good. While we're doing this. Go ahead and get our uh, screws started in. See if I can do this other one one handed. Yeah, look at there. Now we'll just take a screwdriver, snug those rails down. Get it moved as far forward as we can. Now, if you're doing this in the far forward position like we are, it's kind of hard to get that screwdriver in there, but you know, it doesn't take a lot of tightening down to get that rail secured up. And then with those star washers, that thing's going to be locked in place. Nothing to worry about there. <clears throat> Go ahead and get our other side set up. And like I say, I've got that, uh, if you remember, I did the uh, budget flashlight mount. That's uh, what I intend to use on one side. The other side, uh, just going to leave it open for now. I don't, uh, I don't think I have a functioning laser that I can use. I might actually have one, but I just don't know if it uh, if it'll work or not. It was one that I used on another gun and at some point or another it got damaged. I don't I haven't tested it to see if it'll even work anymore or not lately. Like I say, Jason and I made this a simple process of getting these rails in here. 
<clears throat> as you may or may not remember uh, this lower rail on the lower portion of this grip is actually a uh, Troy Industries rail and as with uh, most of the rails out there okay I'll give you a good view of the inside of that with those rails installed and then the outside of it with those rails installed after that it's just uh, simply a process of putting the heat shield back in I guess I had it right to start with. Like I say, we'll get our heat shield back in there and get this thing up and running. Yeah, you know what? Back end of it dropped into place. All right, we've got that heat shield in, it gives us those two angle rails. Reassembly going to be just as easy as always, I hope. Of course, I'm going to try to do this on a flat angle instead of putting the butt of the rifle down like I probably should. And there we go, back together. Like I say, as you remember, I use that lower rail for my bipod. And as you recall, I uh, built this simple little flashlight mount using an old scope ring. Should be able to take it there like that, and then that just gives me the ability to push button that light. Now, one thing I'm noticing is, is it does have it a little bit back, and I, of course, did not have this set up beforehand. So I think what I may end up doing is uh, pushing that light a little bit farther forward in that bracket or in that scope ring. Because what I should be able to do is just reach up like this and hit that button. So I think that's what I'll do is go ahead and move that forward a little bit. Make some minor adjustments to it. And we'll see where we're at. By some odd chance, I might just have... Or I might not. Just have the... Uh, proper Allen wrench here. We can go ahead and just make some tweaks while we're here.
Let's see if that gets that uh, Magalite XL50 back in. Yeah, see, that's a much better, more ergonomic location for us. Yeah. All right. We're good to go. That's the uh, LTF rails on the AB Arms foregrip on the DPMS AR-15. I do hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later. You have a good day.